वेलकम बैक एंड नाउ न्यूज फ्रॉम स्पोर्ट्स The one month winter transfer window opened on Monday. Two out of four I-League clubs in Goa are planning to strengthen their squads with foreigners. Dempo are the closest to finishing the move for Trinidad and Tobago's former captain Denzel Theobald, while Yusoko Kato, a Japanese striker, will get the nod only if he impresses coach Armando Colasso at his trials. South Korea's Park Jae-hyun finds himself in a similar position with Sporting Club de Goa. Meanwhile, I-League champions Salgaonkar Sports Club and title contenders Churchill Brothers have ruled out new signings. Opening day, however, saw just lower divisions Raya Sporting collect transfer forms from the Goa Football Association. Transfer windows are always an exciting prospect, as this is the time players swap clubs and find new colours and crests to sport. The winter transfer window has opened in India on Monday. Goa has seen a mild response on day one. Dempo are the busiest of all. Denzel Theobald's paperwork has been submitted to FIFA and the club is hoping to have the TNT attacker's services in two days' time. Dempo are also on the lookout to fill their Asian quota with Yusoko Kato. But coach Armando Colasso has said he will sign the J-League player only if he impresses in his trials set to begin this Sunday. Sporting Club de Goa are keenly observing Park Ji Hyun. The 31-year-old South Korean has an impressive bio data, says club president Peter Waz, but that does not mean the club will sign him. I-League champions, Salgonkar Sports Club and this season's title contenders, Churchill Brothers, are more than content and not making any additions to their squad. Salgonkar's coach Karim Ben Sharifa and Churchill's manager Denzel Ferrao confirmed this. On the local scene only, Raya Sporting have taken transfer forms from GFA's head office. All in all, the transfer window has had a slow start, but the drama is definitely about to build up before the window closes on February 15th. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Royal Challengers Margao won the Babu Brothers All Goa 2020 cricket tournament on Sunday. Royal Challengers defeated Iqbal 11 by 23 runs in the finals at the SAG ground in Fatorda. Zaheer Sadekar and Damodar Redkar of Royal Challengers were the man of the match and man of the series respectively. Royal Challengers won the toss and elected to bat. Damodar Redkar played superbly and remained not out on 81 runs. Nagendra Patil scored 56 runs. Royal Challengers posted a total of 147, losing just one wicket in the allotted 20 overs. Here are some highlights. Coming down the wicket, nice and straight, a lofted shot, it go all the way. Yes, 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 yes. No. Good looking shot, there is the field of Philippines, piece of field, and the ball once again races away towards the deck. He's warming up there, getting ready to hit the ground. Once again, a lofted shot right in the middle of uh, good. attempted Yorker, but took another field of the ball. He's running, running, running. He's gone. Oh, beautiful ball this time. There's a chance and direct. Oh, good play this time. Chasing the target, Iqbal 11 could manage to score 124 runs for the loss of 9 wickets, thus falling short by 23 runs. Alok Deshpande was their top scorer with 50 runs, Zishan Ali made 22, while Muktiyar Kadri contributed 18 runs. Here are some highlights. Runners up Iqbal 11 received Rs. 35,000. Zaheer Sadekar of Royal Challengers was named man of the match for his fine figures of 4 wickets for 17 runs. Royal Challengers captain Damodar Redkar was named man of the series and winning team was presented 
rupees 75000 are reporters from marga samir bhat and savio dais Mahesh Gauri could have become the best defender in Asia had he pursued a right back position instead of playing as a stopper back. Now these were the words of English coach Bob Houghton under whom the Madgaon based defender played extensively for India. Mahesh feels proud as he is reminded of these words but says he was midway through his career as a stopper back when Houghton made this statement. In the final part of our exclusive chat with former India defender Mahesh recalls playing under all the coaches in his 14 year career at the international level. Uh, Mahesh, Bob Houghton had said that uh, you are you would be one of the best right backs if you had to start in that position earlier. Uh, what do you think of those words today? Uh, for me, very good words, uh, motivation words, uh, great words. You say uh, English coach coming and telling me that I will be a best uh, right back in Asia. Uh, was for uh, for me that position was very difficult because I have studied my career as a stopper back, and I knew better than uh, in stopper back I knew more than what I could play in right back. So for me the words were good. Many coaches you might have played under Savio Madeira or recently then Arman Colasso before this you might be knowing him very well from Dempo, and obviously Bob Houghton, um, Stephen Constantine as well. What do you make of all the coaches that India has had to date under which you have played? See, I think all the coaches have different different plans, and all are very, all were very good coaches for me. Uh, before uh, we used to play football, but uh, not like that. We never used to keep balls like Arman says, keep the ball. Like Stephen Constantine says, keep the ball. Like uh, Bob Houghton, keep the ball. Before we used to just take the ball and we used to throw. We were no confidence. Now there is lot of confidence in us, and uh, we play better football than before. Mahesh, uh, any last few words to your fans uh, out there? A lot of Mahesh Gauli fans. Uh, any few words to them before you uh, before we wrap this interview? Uh, I would I would say support the Empire team uh, as much you can, and uh, you'll see more for better football. Our sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Omkar Fallari from Panji. And with this, we have come to an end of this news bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.